History of Lean Most of the lean concepts were being practiced as early as 1910 by Henry Ford. Post World War II, Japanese leaders such as Toyota Motor Company's Eiji Toyoda, Taichi Ono, and Shingyo Shingo developed a process focused production system now known as the Toyota Production System or Lean Production. The objective of this system was to eliminate or reduce non value added tasks and to minimize the consumption of resources that added no value to product. These concepts and techniques were reintroduced and popularized in America under the umbrella of lean manufacturing. Now have a look at the video lecture describing history of lean for a better understanding. History of lean Lean manufacturing has been derived from the Toyota production system or just in time production. The history of lean manufacturing goes back to at least 1850. When Eli Whitney perfected the concept of interchangeable parts, Whitney developed this about 1799 when he took a contract from the U.S. Army for the manufacture of 10,000 muskets at the unbelievably low price of 13.40 dollars each. This changed in the late 1890s with the work of early industrial engineers. At the end of 1890. Frederick W Taylor became the first to study work management scientifically and distribute the results. His work led to the formalization of time and motion studies and the setting of common standards. Frank Gilbreth then added the concept of breaking work down into elementary time blocks. It was around this time that the first notions of eliminating waste and studying movement began to emerge in 1910 henry ford invented the assembly line for his standardized ford model t ford is considered by many to be the first practitioner of just in time and lean manufacturing alfred p sloan improved on ford's system when he introduced the concept of assembly line diversity at gm after the second world war Taichi Ono and Shinjo Shingo created the just in time waste reduction and pull system concepts for Toyota which together with other flow management techniques resulted in the Toyota production system TPS the TPS has been evolved and improved ever since in 1990 James Womack summarized these concepts to create lean manufacturing at a time when japanese expertise was spreading to the west and the success achieved by companies applying these principles and techniques became undeniable lean in healthcare principles of lean management work in healthcare is as much the same way as they do in other industries lean thinking identifies the least wasteful way to provide better and safer healthcare to patients without any delays adapted to healthcare waste is anything other than the minimum amount of supplies equipment personnel space and time that is absolutely essential to deliver a quality level of clinically accepted patient treatment adoption of lean management strategies can help healthcare organizations to improve processes and outcomes reduce cost increase satisfaction among patients providers and staff let's watch Senior the e doctors lecture, have arranged a meeting with the chairperson to discuss about the decreasing care. revenue of the hospital in the last 3 months hospital revenue has decreased by 20% and percentage of negative feedback of patients has also increased we have to take serious measures for this what can we do about it we need to identify and eliminate waste from all aspects of patient care let's think about lean investigate all the important aspects of patient care and identify non value added steps and tasks so what are the findings waiting time for patients should be minimized staff has to walk to other end of the wards to pick up forms and equipments Examination rooms also lack in basic equipments. Work gets delayed in gathering equipment and materials. Precious time gets wasted.
Hospital inventory is overstocked. Drugs and supplies are getting expired before usage. Unnecessary pathology tests are being ordered. It also results in repeated blood samples being drawn, causing patients inconvenience. Demographic data is being taken several times. But that's good. We have identified the non-value added activities. Let's eliminate these to improve outcomes, reduce cost and increase patient satisfaction. Lean is about challenging the way the things are done and finding out the existing waste and inefficiency. The environment in which an organization operates will continue to change. Thus, Lean can help an organization to meet the challenges they are facing. Categories of Waste The seven categories of waste were developed as a means to learn where waste exists and root it out systematically. Seven categories of waste with examples are Number 1. Confusion That is, same activity being performed differently by different people. Unclear doctor's orders. Unclear route for medicine administration. Number 2. Defects that is, medication errors, surgical errors, incorrect charges or billing. Number 3. Overprocessing that is, clarifying orders and redundant data collection or charting. Number 4. Over inventory that is, overstocked medication on units, overstocked supplies on units and in warehouses, out of date or expired medications. Number 5. Overproduction that is duplicate charting, multiple forms with same information, copies of reports sent automatically. Number 6. Waiting that is patients waiting for appointments and procedures, waiting for other workers at meetings, surgeries and procedures. Number 7. Excessive motion of patients and staff that is looking for information, materials and people and poor layout of the hospital, for example, path lab located far away from ED. Let's watch the video lecture which will give you a basic understanding about the various categories of waste. The 7 Categories of Waste Waste is the use of any material or resource beyond what the customer requires and is willing to pay for. Lean manufacturing aims to identify and eliminate waste to improve the performance of the business. The seven categories of waste modified for healthcare with examples are Confusion People doing the work are confused or not sure about what should be done. Examples are Same activities are being performed in different ways by different people. Unclear doctor's orders unclear route for medicine administration and unclear system for indicating charges for billing. Defects It includes inspection and correction of mistakes. It is a work that contains errors or lacks something of value. Does the process result in anything the customer would deem unacceptable? Examples are medication errors rework. Variation in outcomes, incorrect charges or billing, and surgical errors. Overprocessing. This includes effort that adds no value from the patient or customer's perspective. Overprocessing is when unnecessary hands and brains touch the patient or product. Examples are clarifying orders and redundant information gathering or charting. Over inventory. More materials on hand than are needed to do the work. Any supply or purchase in excess of the current demand. Examples are overstocked medications on units and overstocked supplies on units and in warehouses. Overproduction. Producing more than what is required. Are we producing sooner? faster or in greater quantity than the customer needs? Examples are duplicate charting, multiple forms with same information and copies of reports sent automatically. Waiting 
idle time created when people, information, equipment or materials are not at hand. Examples are waiting for other workers at meetings, surgeries, procedures, reports and patients waiting for appointments, procedures. Excessive motion of patients and staff. Is there unnecessary movement of information, materials and people between processes? Examples are looking for information, looking for materials or people. Materials, tools located far from the work. Tactical tools of lean. Lean is implemented through the use of a set of practical tools and techniques. Of these value stream mapping and 5S are often used for improving healthcare processes. Senior doctors are teaching a group of junior doctors about the importance of value stream mapping in healthcare. Value stream mapping is a key tool and is widely used in healthcare nowadays. You all should have a basic understanding about value stream mapping. VSM is to identify improvements that can be made to reduce waste that is patient wait time. Please explain us with an example. When value stream mapping is used in healthcare, one obvious application is mapping a patient's path to treatment to improve service and minimize delays. How it could be processed? The time. The patient spends waiting for the doctor can be broken down into value-added and non-value-added cycle times. So, here value-added is time when the customer is willing to spend consulting with the doctor. Non-value-added is the time when the customer is not willing to pay for while waiting for the doctor before the appointment. Can the gap between process stats be modified further? Yes, of course. A more efficient process can be designed by changing push steps for continuous flow. So the time a patient spends waiting for the next process are a non-value added action for the patient. Absolutely. By identifying all of the steps, you can start to map the whole process out moving from left to right. Thanks for the information, sir. Mapping will help to identify areas for improvement. And once implemented, they can become the new current state map as part of an iterative quality improvement process. This is how value stream mapping can help you map, visualize and understand the flow of patients, materials and information.